As you are all aware, a COVID-19 vaccine is now available. We at Minnesota Women's Care would like to keep you updated on recommendations for receiving the vaccine, including special considerations with regards to pregnancy and lactation. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are messenger RNA based. The mRNA in the vaccine provides instructions to the cells in our body to make small harmless pieces of the spike protein found on the surface of the coronavirus. That spike protein is seen as foreign and our body's response is to make antibodies against it. Then when we are exposed to the actual COVID-19 virus, we already have antibodies to it, so that prevents us from getting sick. The vaccine has proven to be 95% effective in preventing COVID-19. The vaccine is given in two doses, 21 or 28 days apart, depending upon which one you receive. Common side effects from the vaccine include headache, mild fever, fatigue, joint and muscle pain, and pain at the injection site. Side effects are more common following the second dose of the vaccine. You cannot get COVID-19 from the vaccine. The Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices devised a schedule on prioritizing groups of people to receive the vaccine and vaccinations are underway. The COVID-19 vaccine has not been specifically studied in pregnant or lactating women. There is no clinical data yet if there are any fetal or neonatal effects from receiving the COVID-19 vaccine during pregnancy. We do know that women who become infected with COVID-19 during pregnancy can become severely ill and can have adverse maternal and fetal outcomes from that. Women need to consider the risks and benefits of receiving a COVID-19 vaccine during pregnancy versus the known risks of a possible severe COVID-19 infection during pregnancy. The American College of OBGYN, the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, and we at Minnesota Women's Care support that women have access to the COVID-19 vaccine to reduce the risks of adverse outcomes, especially for those who are in a priority group to receive the vaccine. However, the decision is ultimately up to you. We support the right for every individual woman to make her own informed decision. We look forward to discussing this with you further. Stay well and stay safe.